Immunizations are the best way to protect yourself, your family, and those who are most vulnerable in your community from infectious diseases that can be very serious and sometimes even fatal. All right, tell me more. 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 Tell me more about immunization. Why do we need immunizations? My name is Dr. Karin Bok. I'm the Acting Deputy Director and Director of Pandemic Preparedness at the Vaccine Research Center, NIAID, uh, National Institute of Health. We need immunizations to save lives and to prevent you from severe consequences and real consequences from uh, very serious diseases. Vaccines can prevent infectious diseases like polio, whooping cough, and measles that once killed or harmed millions of people including infants and children. Some immunity from disease can be shared from parent to baby during pregnancy and breastfeeding. However, this immunity fades. An infant or young child can get very sick and need to go to the hospital and could even die if they contract certain diseases. That's why experts advise that children receive immunizations based on the recommended schedule. I think it's important to know that these vaccine-preventable diseases have serious and devastating consequences. I'm Jose Romero. I'm the director of the CDC's National Center of Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. I have seen these diseases in children. I've seen the long-term complications that they have, as well as I've seen death by these diseases. Why do we need immunizations for diseases that are eliminated or rare? Several diseases that I saw as a trainee have now disappeared because of vaccines. And I am concerned that if vaccination rates fall, we will begin to see these diseases again. They have not gone away. They're just being kept at bay. To date, only smallpox has been completely eradicated globally. Other diseases like polio and measles are very rare or non-existent in the United States. But in an interconnected world, International travel and trade can lead to increased exposure to infectious disease. I'm Dr. Peter Marks, Director of the Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research at the Food and Drug Administration. Immunizations are victims of their own success. Because people don't see the serious outcomes from diseases such as measles, rubella, and polio, they may not think immunization is important. However, if we don't vaccinate, diseases that are thought to be eliminated or rare can easily return. Diseases are very democratic. Uh, they're able to travel. They're, even if we don't have a disease right now in the U.S., it would be very easy for the disease to come from other parts of the world via planes or via travel. And if there is a big a group of people that are not immunized against those diseases, it will spread very quickly like fire. How do vaccines work? When germs such as bacteria or viruses invade the body, they attack and multiply. This invasion, called an infection, is what causes disease. Vaccines can help protect against certain diseases by imitating an infection. Some vaccines contain weakened versions of a bacteria or virus. Others contain only part of the bacteria or virus. And vaccines, like the mRNA vaccines that fight COVID-19, contain only the genetic material for a specific disease protein. All of these vaccine varieties stimulate the body's immune system to build up defenses against the infectious bacteria or virus without causing the disease. After vaccination, the immune system is prepared to respond quickly and forcefully when the body encounters the real disease-causing organism. The presence of these antibodies build immunity to the disease and protect us from experiencing serious symptoms or even getting the disease in the future. Are vaccines safe? Yes, uh, vaccines are very safe and effective for both you and your children. The United States has the safest vaccine supply in history because of its vaccine safety system. Before a vaccine is approved, it must be tested in clinical trials that generate information about the vaccine's safety and effectiveness. FDA oversees this process to make sure the studies are well conducted and that participants aren't exposed to undue risks. Once human studies are completed, the vaccine manufacturer submits the data and information to FDA, along with detailed information about how the vaccine is manufactured. 
FDA's medical and scientific experts perform a careful evaluation of the information, including conducting an inspection of the manufacturing facilities to ensure that the vaccine meets FDA's high standards for safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing quality. It is only at this point, when the agency determines the vaccine meets these standards, that FDA approves the vaccine for use. Like any other medication, vaccines can have side effects. But these side effects are usually very mild. More serious side effects, such as allergic reactions, are very rare. However, the benefits of getting vaccines are much greater than the possible side effects. Parents whose children have weakened immune systems or have a history of allergic reactions to vaccines should check with their healthcare provider about their options. What are the risks in delaying or skipping vaccines for myself or my child? You should not skip or delay, delay vaccinations from your child because you're leaving your child vulnerable against diseases that are totally preventable. Stick to the CDC schedule and get your uh, shots on time because it has been carefully curated to make sure that your vaccines are given uh, at a, a sensible pace and to give you the most benefit uh, from that vaccination. The CDC schedule is based on recommendations from the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP. ACIP is comprised of medical and public health experts drawn from fields like vaccinology, immunology, and pediatrics. ACIP has 15 voting members, including a consumer representative who provides perspectives on the social and community aspects of vaccination. The bottom line for the American public is that vaccines used in this country are extremely safe and efficacious. They've been studied very, very well before they're released for general use. There's a lot of information out there about vaccines from a variety of different sources, so it's really important to have trusted sources where you can find clear, understandable, and accurate information and ask any questions. For more information on vaccines and vaccine schedules, please visit cdc.gov vaccines. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.